Hey guys, it's KJ48 and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for a game called Planet Base. This is going to be episode one. Alright, um, for those of you who don't know what Planet Base is, Planet Base is a strategy game where you're going to be basically guiding a group of space settlers. By the way, I love that. I love that name, space settlers. Um, trying to establish an outpost on a remote planet. This is not Mars. Even though it looks like Mars, it's not Mars. Kind of reminds me of Mars, though, the way it looks. Um, in the game, you're going to play the role of the architect, like the manager. You're kind of like, you know, the god and kind of um you're gonna be telling your colonists your colonists where to build structures what structures to build um you're gonna have to worry about all kinds of things um you're worrying about stuff like food water oxygen powering your base sleep morale and the elements now by the elements i mean like meteor strikes so yeah it's basically a space planetary um building survival game uh it's like three quarters view the graphics are amazing let's just get let's just get started i can't wait to play it um you have three different kinds of planets um you need to get a certain amount of milestones to unlock the next planet um you've got this one which is accessible and one uh that's challenging and overwhelming so you can see right here it says how many of the um uh, of the milestones i've gotten i've got survival which is one of the milestones so we're gonna go ahead and pick the planet it's a medium-sized desert planet with a thick CO2 atmosphere, which partially protects it from meteors and solar flares. That's interesting. Um, characteristics. Light amount, high. Solar panels operate at full capacity. Atmosphere density is high, suitable for wind turbines. Uh, those are the two ways you get power. Uh, sandstorm, sandstorm risk is high. I don't know what that does to you yet. Uh, solar flare risk is low, which is nice. I guess solar flares would shut down all your, your mechanics. Uh, meteor risk is also low. Um, we've got a base name, which we will call um, Cages Base. No, no, I'm going to stick with House. House of Pain. Oh, Cages House of P. Cages House of P. That sounds so wrong, I think I have to keep it. All right, so let's start the game. So right now it's going to do some loading. Uh, one thing I kind of like have... Uh, I have something like where I'm trying to get used to is the fact that you can't pause the game outright so yeah so you can't really pause the game so it's a little bit harder to give you guys instructions on the game early because the early part of this game is very very intense and uh, a little challenging actually it's quite challenging in the beginning so I'm not gonna be able to go over a lot of the uh, finer points of the game right away I'm just gonna go over what you're gonna be doing in the first you know few minutes just to make it easier by the way this is a cutscene where a colonist get off the get off the little ship um, honestly, it's, it's unskippable. It's, it's nice the first time, but I wish I could skip it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need an airlock. We're also going to look around make some kind of basic idea of how we're going to do this. I'm going to put the airlock right there. All right. And, uh, after we, after you have an airlock, we're going to need an oxygen generator. You're going to want to build a lot of your, uh, buildings off of the oxygen generator, um, for a specific reason. And I will get into that shortly. Uh, after the oxygen generator, um, you're going to need water to uh, to run the oxygen generator. You can see right here. Uh, well, you can see over there. It, um, here, you know what? I'll just show you. Right here, oxygen generator uh, from gets oxygen from electricity and water. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the exterior structures and we are going to build a water extractor. I don't know where I want to build this. I guess right here is good or over here might be good or now let's do it right here kind of like right there then we got to connect these up you, you click on each building and then you hit the little connection and that'll tell them to connect them up uh we're also going to need power power is a big issue in this game it's by far where most of the challenge comes out in the beginning parts of the game so the first thing we're going to do is make a solar panel and we want to connect that, I don't know, like right, I got, right about here, I guess. By the way, if you do the mouse, if you roll your mouse button, you can make bigger and smaller structures. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick with smaller structures for now. Um, obviously, bigger structures have bonuses to them. Uh, and your first buildings, you really want to build around your, around your colony ship. Here's your colony ship and all the things in there. You've got uh, contains metal, contains bioplastic. Those are the two major components that you're gonna be using to build stuff. Then we got pasta meals. We've got uh, spare parts and we've got medical supplies. So right here we have the water, we have the oxygen generator, we still need the power. So we're waiting for the power to get built. So we're going to wait for them to build that because it's the number one concern. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, like I said, there's no... <clears throat> I can't just pause the game and look around through the menus. This is the only way to pause the game that I'm aware of. And I can't really look around through the menus while doing that. 
So they just connected everything. Uh, you can see right here, the oxygen is filling up. These, the, uh, filling up the airlock and the oxygen generator itself. If you press tab, you can get rid of all the things on top. And you can see right here how there's like a little oxygen generator room. Okay, so we are going to also need a way to get power at night because a, a solar panel obviously doesn't work during the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we are going to make a wind turbine. And we are going to connect those as well. Wind turbine is number one, needs to get done, so we're not going to do anything. By the way, you can speed up and slow... Oh, here, check this out. So only one person at a time can go through the airlock. Which is kind of interesting. So you got to keep that in mind. You may need multiple airlocks. Maybe you can make the airlock bigger with the with the mouse wheel. I've never tried, but I'm assuming you could. Maybe then multiple people could go through it. I really don't know. But you can see right here, people are going to go in here when their suits run out of oxygen. And they're going to resupply and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, going to oxygen. Yeah, they're, they're just they're getting their oxygen. I guess uh, maybe, maybe their suits take a certain amount of time to resupply before they can go out and build. But we, I need stuff built. They need to get out here and work on this damn wind turbine. Anyway... So I can't pause the game outright while playing the game, but you can speed up and slow down the game by pressing plus and minus. I'm just going to press plus because I want this thing built. Got a couple robots here. Again, we will go over who's doing what exactly and what the, what their jobs are, but for now I'm just going to leave it alone. Alright, so now we should have some power at night. It looks like it's getting... Yeah, it's just about to get dark, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to bother making a battery. Uh, by the way, up here shows you how many colonists you have, how many bots, the day-night cycle. Once it fills up, it goes to night, and then once the night fills up, it goes to day. Over here is the wind strength. And I think they purposely give you high wind strength on this planet for the... For oh my god, seriously. I think they purposely give you high wind strength on this planet in the... Be oh god, it's going down. I'm very nervous about this. Um, very nervous about this. I'm, I'm not gonna have any power. I don't have a battery. Maybe I should have made a battery instead of a... Instead of that. Uh, okay, so what else are we going to be doing? So the other thing they're going to need is food, uh, which is going to be they're going to eat in a cantina or a canteen. Um, so I guess the canteen could go right about here. Again, you can make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to leave it small. And you will uh, connect these two. There we go. Now, is there anything else I want to have them build during the night? Um, we're really gonna need a power collector. Uh, if we make it through the night, uh, it looks like the wind is picking up a little bit. Yep, everything's out of power. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and build a battery over here. Basically, it's just basically a battery, but it's called a... It's not called the battery, it's called the power collector. Uh, we'll do it right here, I guess. It's a good spot, isn't it? And connect those. Now, there's nothing else we can do. We just have to hope the wind picks up. Uh, you have a choice after the solar panel to either make a battery or... A wind turbine and honestly I think the wind turbine is probably the way to go um, I don't know I, I don't know probably but anyway let's uh, speed up and pray we live through the night actually you know what let's not speed up because now this will give us give me some downtime where I can actually explain to you a couple things okay right here is the airlock it actually shows you the O2 um, oxygen it oxygen in this in these systems come from the oxygen generator and goes out goes out to everywhere in a very realistic way like if i built like a big thing over here and had like multiple rooms and and corridors and stuff when i make a building over here the oxygen coming from here would take time to filter in all these rooms would probably get less oxygen and oxygen would be flowing into the room that's farthest away from the oxygen generator that's why the game kind of forces you and teaches you to connect as many structures to the oxygen generator as you can it just it just helps oxygen flow by the way we're getting some power um, which is really nice. We're getting stored up some power, which is good because the wind did pick up. Although the wind's dying down now, but I might have should made it. Might have should have made that battery a little bit earlier, but it's a learning process. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's that's how the oxygen flow works, very realistically. So now we're gonna look at some of the guys here. Okay, by the way, um, like I said, Tab puts the domes up and brings them down, and Alt, if you look up here, Alt will switch this to a view of your resources. Um, we're going to look at some of our guys here. We've got a worker, okay? Each guy has their own health, nutrition, hydration, oxygen, sleep, and morale. And if you go right here, by the way, this window does pause the game, which is nice. Um, workers will perform the most basic uh, or physically demanding tasks in the colony. They mine resources, although not as efficient as a driller. They operate components in the processing plant. The processing plant... Basically, you can mine in this game, and the processing plant takes the ores out of the mine and turns it into something you can craft with. It basically turns into resources you could build with. 
They operate a uh, radio console. If required, they can carry resources around, but not as efficient as a carrier bot. Okay, what are you? Engineer. Okay, what does an engineer do? Uh, builds and repairs structures. They perform uh, more technical tasks. Builds and repairs structures. They repair bots. They operate components in the factory in the robotics facility. Robots sound awesome, by the way. Uh, they operate the telescope console. Uh, again, this game is just sounds really cool. Um, if required, they can carry resources around, but not as efficient as a carrier bot. I, it'd be nice if you could give these people uh, priorities. So, like, well, if required, maybe carrier bots, once you have more carrier... I'd like to turn off... Um, maybe they already have priorities to make sense. And then uh, there's the uh, there's the botanist, which I'm not going to show you right now because I don't feel like looking for them. By the way, we just finished this. Once they finish this, it'll connect the O2, and uh, we'll have oxygen. Anyway, um, night is almost half over. We have a little bit of power, but it is being drained. Uh, there is no wind power to speak of. No wind strength. That's a problem. Um, if the power cuts out... Uh, the airlock will shut down. They won't be able to get in and out. Uh, oxygen is... We're already losing oxygen. Okay, wind is picking up. Okay. Oh, the oxygen was lowered because uh, oxygen was filling into the canteen. Okay, so canteen. Okay, so there's another option here. A lot of buildings have these uh, edit structures where you could build stuff in there. So it looks like my guys are getting thirsty, so we're going to build a drinking fountain. Um, I know the power just went out. Um, the wind is picking up, though, so we should be okay. We're going to build a drinking fountain. We're going to build a couple of places for people to eat. Right there. And then we are going to make a meal maker. Put that right here. I wish you could rotate this stuff a little bit. That'd be nice, but... Okay, meal maker, and uh, they might get bored, so we're gonna make them a widescreen TV to watch while they're eating. Okay, I, I guess that I'm guessing that helps with morale. Okay, you can see right here some of the colors are getting thirsty. That's why you know got to get that water fountain made. All right, wind is really good. Battery is beginning power. Uh, and the, the night is almost over, so we're gonna go a little crazy with power the next couple days uh, We actually need to the next thing they're gonna need is a place to sleep I'm assuming the day-night cycle is uh, not 24 hours on this planet I mean, what are the odds it would be anyway, but I don't think it's like the same as earth because they take a few days to get tired Although I guess in dire circumstances people can get tired uh, can go days without sleep, but um, They don't seem to be bothered by it So now we're gonna make a dorm, okay? Um this structure can only have one interior connection. It's a dead end. And the reason it's a dead end is because some of these uh, some of these buildings have these little, like, uh, things around them. And some have more and some have less. And because the the, the dorm has more of those, it, uh, it makes it so it's a dead end. So we're going to put that right... Oh, perfect. Oh, God, that's, like, almost perfect. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking one of the problems I might be having is that I'm putting structures too far away from each other. And I don't know if there's any real benefit of putting structures far away from each other. Also, the connection thing, I wonder if the, the time to build that and if the resources put into it is um, decided by how far it is away from the, the building that it's connecting. So that's something I'm going to have to look into. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our dorm. So we'll make that close. Why not? It's a good spot for it. Connect. Okay. So that'll give him a place to sleep. And uh, along with that, we are also going to... Um, we're going to set up another battery. Uh, we're going to make it a big battery. Maybe the biggest. Uh, let's go power power thingy. And we'll put up the number four. Uh, is that a good spot for it? Probably not. Let's put this over here. Yeah, right there. And connect these. So that's going to be a big old battery, and um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go overboard with the power because pa running out of power is a death sentence. Uh, we'll put in another solar panel. How about a big one? How many resources do we have left? Eh, we're doing okay on resources, but we don't have a ton. Um, you know what? We'll stick with the regular solar. We'll stick with the regular solar panel. Can I put one over here? I cannot. One right here. Okay, connect those. And let them do their thing. Alright guys, do your, do your thang. 
All right, you can, um, here, I'm going to press Alt now and bring this up because I'm, I'm starting to worry about my resources. Uh, oh, we also have to make a place to make food. That's going to be a, that's going to be a big deal. Um, all right, so in order to make food, you want a biodome. Not only do biodomes help you make food, but biodomes will also allow you to make plants that are going to give you starches, and starches are what you need to make bioplastics. So, uh, I'm not sure I want to put this right off the cantina. I mean, it makes sense, right? Sure. Why not? Connect these two. Alright, see everyone's tired now. They've got the water. Um, they've got- they've still got meals. Uh, this thing's done now and it's gonna be connected. Alright, so our resources are actually looking pretty good. The metal's really starting to drain now. Um, okay, so here we go. We got a battery that can hold 12,500 megawatts. Alright, this one's full. This is giving power. I think we'll be okay through the night now, uh, at least for a while. Maybe want to get some more wind turbines up, but uh, so far I think we're okay. People are tired, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the dorm, and we're going to build some beds in it. Um, how much does this take? One bioplastic? We'll make a couple beds. Honestly, you probably don't need a couple beds right off the bat, but I've got the bioplastics. I want, I want people to get rest. And we are really running low on um, metals at this point, so... One thing we could do is, uh, you can you can scrap the colony ship, but I think, and I'm not sure if this is the case, but I've been told that if these items stay on the ground, they can deteriorate. Um, you need a storage unit for them. Let's see what it let's see what it costs to make a storage unit. Uh, that's a mine. We should probably get a mine going actually. Wind turbine, power collector, water tank, huh? Cool. Where's the storage unit that must be in here? Processing plant. Here we go, storage. Um, yeah, let's make a storage unit. I don't know where I want it. We want it to be close. We want it to be close out here, but we can't put it close. Oh, that's a problem. I guess that's not a bad spot for the storage unit. We want it as close to the. We want it as close to the um. To the airlock as we could possibly get. I guess it's not a bad place for it. All right, so the biodome has been built. We're gonna go ahead and, well, it's gotta be connected before we can put anything in there, so we'll wait for that. Yeah, everybody's tired. You can see right here, yellow to orange means they're really tired. But uh, those beds should be being built. Let's speed it up a little bit. All right, this bed should be built. Someone go to sleep. Guy who built it went to sleep. Sounds good to me. Man, my batteries are almost full. Okay, the biodome is built. Let's go ahead and edit it. And we're, there's all kinds of plants. The red plants are ones that are for food, and the other ones are for starches, which basically get you bio, bio stuff. Um, we're gonna go with tomatoes. Uh, fast production and high maintenance. We're gonna go with onions. And probably a mushroom. Sure, I like mushrooms actually in real life. I should recycle the colony ship. Yes, I know. I guess we could do that now. Oh crap, I never connected these, damn it. All right, so let's see how our power is doing. So the power might might be being, we got a lot of power actually. So the sleep seems to be getting under control. We need these two connected once. I'm gonna I'm gonna recycle this. I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and recycle that. And there you go. Now everything's on the ground. Now I want them to pick stuff up. See, see, everything has a condition. That's what I'm saying. This stuff does go bad. Yeah, before disintegrating. Okay. Yeah. So stuff will last longer than others before disintegrating. Let's take a look at the bioplastics. High durability. So most of this stuff seems like it's high durability. Yeah, it looks like it's all high durability. That's good. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at... Okay, O2 looks pretty good just about everywhere. <clears throat> let's take a look at some of our base management stuff. Let's look at stats. Um, yeah, this is all pretty much the same. Let's look at charts. Charts doesn't matter. Grids. Uh, power is 19... Mm. Power grid consumes 19 kilowatts and produces one kilowatt overload. That's because uh, there's no wind, basically. That's because there's no wind. Uh, that's what the batteries are for. 
Water, uh, water consumes 2 and produces 2.9, so the water, you know, we're going to have to keep an eye on. Oxygen, there's only s currently 7 people in the base, and generators are producing oxygen for approximately 20. Okay, so oxygen's okay. So everything's looking pretty good here. Alright, so they're starting to store stuff in here. So when something gets stored, it should stop degrading. I hope. I hope. Let's put our domes back up. I like the way the domes look. Look at this guy's watching TV. Look at him. Using video screen. The medic. Yeah, we don't have any need for the medic at the moment. Alright, so it looks like everyone's carrying it in. Uh, the power supply is more than ample. Um, just ridiculous amount of power. So I think we're okay with that. Um, the beds are pretty good. The food, I kind of, I probably should have made the biodome a little bigger. I might build a second biodome pretty, pretty soon. Um, as a matter of fact, let's put, uh, see, I wish you could just make them bigger. Like maybe edit it to make it bigger or something. Yeah, I don't think you could do that. Oh, you can make trees in those. That's pretty cool. What's this? Oh, prioritize work in the structure. That's interesting. Okay, that's, that's, that's really cool. Or I could recycle it. I'm not going to recycle it. Let's go ahead and make another biodome. You know, I think next time I play, I'm going to make a medium biodome for the first one. Let's go ahead and make another one. And we're going to make this one medium. Uh, that's a good spot for it, I guess. No, we'll just connect the two biodomes. All right, guys, get to work. All right, so they're going to build the biodome. We got more meteors in the area. I think next video we are going to start working on mining. We should have um, a lot more materials now since, yeah, we took down the thing. But uh, yeah, we definitely got to start mining. We're going to need mining and we're going to need a processing plant. As a matter of fact, I don't think I want to wait for this biodome to be done. Um, I'm going to call this video here. Uh, if you guys are excited for this Let's Play, please leave the thumbs ups and, and all the love in the comments. Tell me how awesome this game is. I think this game's freaking fantastic. I think it looks awesome. I think it plays well. I think it's... I just really, really like it. So, um, oh, we just got some potatoes. Or tomatoes, sorry. Vegetables. Tomatoes. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, so leave the love, and uh, I'll be making plenty more of these. So that's going to be it for episode one. I'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.